Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Sew Workshop. Had several emails lately, people wanting to know what my shop looked like, and I've done a lot of YouTube videos over the years, but you just tend to see a little section of it. So I'm not a big fan of shop tours, so I'm gonna make this a quickie, probably a 25 cent tour, uh, but I'll show you my shop. Okay, as you can probably tell by the garage door, I'm working out of a two-car garage, like so many of us. Um, a lot of people want to uh, come to what they think is a commercial shop when they see the scroll saw workshop. And no, nope, that's not me. I just have a two-car garage that I have pretty well filled to the brim with stuff. So I'm gonna start you over here in the corner. And what you're seeing over there on the corner is just a shelf full of uh, craft items, you know, all kinds of stuff from uh, hardware to light bulbs to dowels to toy wheels all that kind of stuff Then I also still have my X car CNC machine That's what you're seeing here and next to it is the computer that I use to control the CNC and I do a little bit of breadboarding and electronics. That's what you're seeing down here uh, There is my new marathon carving machine that I got from Bear Woods assorted parts pegboard, screwdrivers, wrenches, all that stuff. Uh, my very messy uh, space where I store my battery chargers and uh, my drills, sanders, uh, everything else that's battery powered is all in there. Uh, paint, there's my little water source that I use to get water, cabinets. Moving on towards the back, there's the back garage door. I have some uh, sanding equipment, a disc sander, a belt sander over in that corner that I don't use too much anymore. Uh, I will show you this, but it's covered up. Uh, to air condition my shop during the summer so I can keep working, uh, I have a portable air conditioner that I actually vent through the door. So when I move, I'm gonna have to put a new door in. Over here, a tool that I use a lot, it's my sand flea. Um, it's an expensive tool, but I got to tell you, I use it for just about every project. So there you can see my sand flea. You can see on the one side of it, I've got a sanding mop. And then, of course, the sandpaper on the roll. Okay, again, really messy. But uh, here's my uh, first uh, actual good scroll saw. It's a DeWalt DW788. It's an old Type 1 machine had this saw for years. It still works as good as it did the day I bought it. Um, don't use it as much anymore just simply because I've got enough other stuff that I don't have to, but uh, great machine. One of the best ever made, probably one of the most popular. Next in my lineup, I've got the Seiko 21 inch scroll saw. Uh, this is my go-to saw that I use every day. Uh, this is the position where I'm normally at uh, to scroll when you see, you'll see my clock in the background on my computer screen. Uh, I use that computer just to watch TV and uh, podcasts and stuff while I'm cutting. I do have a new addition here that I really like. This new stool that I've been using, I got it at Bear Woods. And what I like about it is it has wheels. There's very few of these just adjustable height stools that have wheels. And uh, I was really looking forward to that. So when I saw that Bear Woods had one, I picked one up. And I got to say, I really like it. Then next to the Seiko, probably the machine I use the second most is the Pegasus 21 inch scroll saw. Again, uh, sold through uh, Bear Woods by Grobe. Uh, this is a really nice machine. Um, low vibration, all the features you could want. Good machine, really like it. Next to that is the Jet 21 inch scroll saw. Another fine machine built like a tank. Uh, it's a unique machine because it has uh, the unique upper uh, clamping and tensioning knob as one unit, uh, only machine on the market that does that. Takes a little getting used to, but I like it. Past that is the Excalibur uh, 21 inch scroll saw. It's one of the older Excaliburs, but still works great. Uh, I don't use it quite as much just simply because I've got enough other stuff, but uh, it's down there ready to use when I need it. A lot of times I'll keep different blades and different saws so I can move back and forth. And you'll see that uh, all the saws, except for the Pegasus right now, which I'd have it loaned out to somebody, all the saws have magnifying lights. Uh, well, I guess the DeWalt doesn't, but it's got a light on it. Uh, and 
on the ceiling you'll see my wind air filtration system I use that all the time uh, really makes the shop air much cleaner keeps down on the amount of dust that settles everywhere although when you watch this video you won't believe that because there's still dust everywhere but uh, believe me it does help to the other side here you see all my clamps back there hanging on the wall then we got my old Craftsman 4 model drill press. Uh, one thing that's kind of neat about that is I actually put a drill back here on it that allows me to lower and raise the table with the drill. So I enjoy that. I actually use it a lot. So it's pretty cool. Underneath the drill, you'll see that I've got, you know, all my Faustner bits, drill bits, uh, everything that you need down there. There's the door to the house that goes in. Another item that I like really well is I've got my Oneida Dust Deputy Cyclone System, and it is sitting on top of my shop vac, and it really, really makes a shop vac much better. It, the cyclone captures all of the larger particles up here in the bucket, very easy to empty, and the filters don't get clogged in the shop vac near as quickly. It's great great device if you don't have one and over here by the door you can see I've got a tool cart uh, full of uh, all kinds of tools then I've got my router station uh, it's hooked up to that shop back up there for dust collection uh, I built the stand for it uh, bought the table and uh, it's I've had it for several years it's worked out pretty well next I got my Ryobi spindle sander uh, that thing cost a little over $100 when I bought it, and it's an amazing tool for the price. I've used it uh, for probably at least five or six years now, and it's always worked great. Above that, you can see a shop radio. Then I got some shop uh, board storage up here for my longer boards and stuff. And down here below all this, you can see there's a order from Heritage Woods uh, that I got in the other day. Pretty good stack of lumber that I haven't, or they're actually scroll saw ready boards that I haven't put away yet. Then over there is just a bin full of scrap wood. I don't throw much away as you can tell. I've got my uh, Delta uh, grind, not grinder, uh, Delta, you know, drawing a blank. My Delta uh, tool with the uh, mop sander on one side and the uh, drum sander on the other. I use this thing constantly and you can see that the mop is totally wore out. They normally are about this long uh, and I use it so much I've just got it completely wore out. Sandpaper station, storage for uh, finishing supplies. I use a lot of spray acrylic and spray lacquer. That's what all that is. Uh, over here you can see it's just a DIY finishing station. Uh, the little rotary down there is powered by a rotisserie motor that I took out of a rotisserie kit. And uh, when I turn on the switch up here, it turns on the light and starts the rotisserie motor, which allows me to uh, spray my small pieces of scroll saw work with the spray acrylic without any trouble. You can see I've got a fan that comes on. I can adjust the speed and that kind of helps with the overspray a little bit, keeps the spray from being so bumpy. Over in that corner is my large air compressor. Uh, then you got my shop dust collection system. That's a jet system, an older system. I also have a cyclone hooked up to it right there. And uh, again, if you have shop dust collection or even with your shop back, the cyclones are worth every penny. There's my Rikon bandsaw that I use to do all the uh, resawing with from when I have a uh, rough lumber. Over here on my table saw, outfeed table, I've got the uh, Win entry level scroll saw that I just purchased recently to do a review on. I've uh, been working on it a little bit, but unfortunately I haven't got the review done yet. I'll do my best to get that done. Been pretty busy. Then I've got another grinder here that I use for sharpening tools. Here's my table saw. It's an old Craftsman table saw. And it actually has worked well for me. I've had it for probably 15 years. I put a different uh, on-off switch on it with the safety guard. I use that to bump it off with my knee all the time. 
And I've got the uh, Ancra Miter 1000 uh, on the saw, which I use it all the time. Uh, kind of retrofitted the fence a little bit to add these uh, extra boards onto the side of the fence. Over here, I've got my DeWalt planer. Um, that thing has worked pretty well. I have had some problems with it over the years where the dust collection isn't great. And uh, sometimes these um, shafts will get clogged up with dust and you have a hard time hand cranking the thing up and down. And I've had to take it apart a couple times and clean it out real good. Over there, I've got an old Craftsman jointer that uh, unfortunately right now isn't working. Haven't had a chance to take it apart. I think the motor might have died in it, but I haven't got there yet. And we'll get back here to pretty much the end of this long, boring tour. You can see this is my video setup where I do all my videos uh, for YouTube on. Uh, just a LED light over there. Up here, I've got uh, my video camera, which I think is a Panasonic or a Canon. It's been so long now, I don't remember. Uh, I guess it's a Canon. I got my Rode microphone. This monitor I can turn on and watch the output from the camera so I can uh, see from across the room what I'm doing. This remote socket head right here allows me to remote control the camera pitch and angle so I can uh, move around the room without having to come readjust the camera. And it's all sitting on a tripod with a mobile base on it. Uh, so that's pretty much my system for recording all the videos. The, uh, the extra monitor and the remote head to allow me to control the uh, uh, pitch and angle of the camera were worth uh, every penny. It really helped me out a lot. And we're back over to the corner where we started, and that is the 25 cent tour of the Scroll Saw Workshop workshop.